Let's get this. Coco, why why is there hot chocolate here? to a toy unboxing video and today is the one week anniversary Camp Cretaceous has come out and we are going to be looking at one of their products now first I'm gonna get a chair and then we will begin if you, let's as you can see Coco is with us Rex is up there you know because today is Coco's day speaking of which we don't have tea but we have Coco but we'll still play the music so let's take a sip Let's find out what we've got today to unbox and review, and of course, give our rating. <laughs> oh my god, yes, that's right. It is the, what's it called? C Control and Conquer Carnotaurus Toro, to be specific. This, which, my god, compare, like, they definitely um, listen to the fans for, like, their critique about the first one like um for example the button here i'm not going to click it right now but it used on the original one and i'll probably put up images was on its back and stuff but in the position it would be that you would push it the carnotaurus's tail in and it had an awesome animation that it would snap and also the eyes now properly painted it's not just a black dot which is one of the biggest criticisms they have and the feet are quite long, but let's see. This is the review before we take it out of the box. So it's got. Oh, so let's see. That's one, two. Okay, so four. And let's see, well, you can twist it. So yeah, it's like the Camp Cretaceous ones they can twist. It's not too shabby at all. I, I love the gloss on the tongue, but first of all, let's look at back of the box. Okay, come on. So, for all those Jurassic Park fans, including myself, even though I, was a, I wasn't a rat born when all the, the first three movies were out. So I don't have the nostalgia level that people who were born with, who lived with those three first do. But I can appreciate like the box art that they had, like where it would be the actual toy itself, not a digital print of it, in like a forest or something. Like I'll probably put up an image like to show an example. I do, I'd not, it doesn't really bother me, but for somebody who really likes to have, like, see what the toy could be doing and stuff in, in like, an environment that you would play with it, I can understand that. Ooh! Let's turn it around for a second. I just realized that the tip of the tail is rubber. Hey, future Austin here. Um, so, I was just wrapping up and getting ready to edit this when I was putting this, starting to clean up. And I noticed that the Carnotaurus also has um, rubber horns. So if you, so that's just another new detail. Like the tail's a little strange for having just that rubber piece, but the horns it just adds some thing. Like I think it just allows to get that much more detail in the cartilage and stuff, and it gives it that little shine that they would have. Just wanted to point that out. So back on to the video. I thought this whole thing was like, like this is the plastic. This is the rope. So, with that, and there's also cards and stuff, which is a little interesting thing. So, let I'm going to release this bad boy. I forgot the scissors. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Ha! I have the scissors. Get parent supervision. Of course, I free you, Toro. After several. Cuts and wounds will be free. The Carnotaurus is free now. Oh 
honestly, it looks so good. Like, look at the detail on the gum line. It's different levels of plastic. Oh, yeah, let's, let's, let's just get rid of that. Oh my god, he's, I haven't even just the feet, which, hold on, let me just get them in position. They look kind of cracked. Yeah, it holds up easily. So there is a little bit of a wobble, and I think because this is weight, this weight's going a little bit to the right. Let's just be honest, Mattel have freaking delivered excellently compared to Hasbro. Like that was easy, because actually these do look like the dinosaurs. They don't look like a weird, moldy, wrinkly. Ugh. Like if you look at the, um, I don't know what the T-Rex one was called, like the good version. But it just looks so off. But like, so we got the animation to turn, um, and besides the rotating gear, you can't really hear any other. Yeah, and for the biting mechanics, you can't hear the mechanics inside there. You can for here, but that's not the big deal. So like, you can move it up, you can move its head up, down, so if you put it down, so like, for example, can I borrow you? So you just lower him down, lower him down, and boom, there you go, you got him eating something. Oh, and you can eat, and even it lifts up so it's going to hold. Now that I'm fin boring over this because, well, that's what we do here. And of course he's got his signature tiny little arms that are made of rubber, so you can move them around. High five. Oh yeah, he does have four. I thought he had, I thought he had three. So, uh, so it's a shared mechanic. So you can, no you can't. So that's why, so the reason why you can't move these separately is because you have one of the carnitone drawers. Now I'm going to say one of the things that is a negative for the, the carnitone store, and I think um, many people can agree with, is the, if you look at the front of him, his face looks a little too wide, and I'll probably, and I'll do some close-ups of these guys. Like, with it closed and stuff, and you compare it to, like, the movie one. But then again, that could just be due to the space used for the mechanics. And of course you have the micro- oh god, don't look it. Why does it look so mold? It's got mold. Oh, yeah. Um, I'll probably do a zoom in of, um, the code thing, DNA code for- Toro, and the other one has a dress bar stamp, so they're stamped like cows. Oh, God, skin. Hold on, guys. Cocoa break. Not tea break, because cocoa. Ah. Wow. So, basically, all of this is plastic. Is the, is the tongue, too? Yeah, the tongue is, too. But, like, the detail, like, the little, the glossing of the tongue... I just love that little detail to helping it look that much more realistic. And like the gum, the, I can't remember what this part is, the part that's shared by both um, jaws. It looks so nice and you can't see any of the mechanics down there. So I would say that this is, it's a much more improved because it keeps the, um, mechanic of the original one, but it adds electronics and also adds more movements. So like, so like you keep that closed, you can have Toro looking kind of around and stuff. Or like, if you have him down all the way, you can have him sniffing just add sound effects because you can look, you have that little mechanic that just sends it boom up. So you can just, um, And there you go. Look at that. And then you just add effects. Personally, I would have preferred if it 
its neutral position with its mouth closed, and then you press the button and it opened. Because then when you do this, that doesn't really make sense. Personal opinion, but it's not that big of a deal. However, speaking of posability, one thing that I don't understand, this isn't a negative, I just would prefer this so for the electronics, but the fact that the legs, you can't like, um, bend the knees, except for in one, I believe, and that's the um, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Indoraptor that Mattel released. It was able to be super poseable and it could bend its knees and get into some, some nice positions. But I would love if we got, like, say, this kind of torso. Even if it couldn't have um, electronics and stuff, I'd be perfectly fine with that. But a version where, like, the knee joints could, it had, well, if it ha that it could have knee joints. So that's, say, for, like, Coco here, like, because, well, I can't show with this one perfectly because of this, but, like, say that, like, you could bend this, like, a bit more so that way it looked a bit more realistic, because it's basically flat, and that's also because of this, but say this was flat down, then it's, like, that's just my personal opinion, it just would add that much more um, posability, so, like, say I have it in the background for a future video, what if I could have it like um, one one leg on top, of course, and then the, the head would be eating, or just roaring triumphantly. Similar to how Rexy does it to, to you, Carnotaurus. That's what happened to you. Right, Rexy? Yeah. But, I do love the detail. Like, like the detail in this is so good. Like, even like, um, I'll get some close-ups. You can see, like... Like, um, the scales so nicely and stuff, the muscle, and the ribs, the weird, um, layers of fat, I'm gonna call it, around the arms is a little bit weird. I don't think it has that in the movie, but if it does, I think it, it might. I haven't watched Fallen Kingdom in a while, but I do like, like, the color patterns and stuff. And it's not the same as the, um, kind of source we see in Fallen Kingdom for its color pattern, even though it's supposed to be like that, it's much more darker. And I think, like, you could get the other one and, like, have it as Toro and give it the scar, and then this one could be, like, what it looks like after they frickin' make it explode, because, well... <laughs> I would say that if I were to... I were to rate this, I don't know. Oh no, that's just the that's just the light hitting. No, you can't. See. I thought I saw one of the one of the pieces of the mechanism pushing out, but no, it's just because the lights going in there. Don't worry, Mattel. It's it's still awesome. Even if the even though it's not as poseable as I thought it would be, like um, I thought I was surprised with um the ability to do this. Like, I did not expect that. When I was, like, trying to move it, like, that's just me literally realizing what just happened. But, I really like it. I, I don't fully understand the point of, um, adding rubber... Like, it's the same with the Lego ones. Like, they have all rubber-tipped tails. Maybe it's just for people who, for the fans who just want rubber. It doesn't really bother me. I, I do like the real feel, but I just know... Is how much detail is in the face. Like, um, you can see, like, even at the front, you can see perfectly the, um, differences in the f face. Like, one horn is thicker than the other, which is actually how Toro looks, if I'm correct. That's the wrong one. I can't tell with this one, but I'm pretty sure one of his horns is actually thicker. Similar to Bumpy. But, I just love the detail. And also, one thing that I would love to see come back, if you recall, um, the bull T-Rex from the Lost World, um, toys from Kenner, it had the, um, an eye made of glass, or I, th I think pla hard plastic. I'd love to see that in, like, these guys. Even if it was just in, like, say, the su Super Colossal dinosaurs, like, 
imagine like the super colossal T-Rex having that um, glass eye, like the bull T-Rex. It would just look so much better. Now I think because like these eyes are quite a bit sm quite small, it'd be very difficult. But I just love to s see that. There, there's nothing wrong with the eyes on this one. They're way better than the first Carnotaurus's with the, just a black dot. But I would say for this, I would rate it a eight out of ten. The reason why I don't give it higher is mainly the legs. While I do like that, um, this, while I do like that, the bonus feature of the electronics, I'd prefer to, like, be able to move it, because, because it, I just would prefer that over this. So, big recommendation, big recommendation for Mattel, needs pop being able to bend. Bring that back from the Indirector and add it to some of these guys. Like, if we had, like, two versions of each, because we did get two versions of the Indoraptor back in 2018, I believe, because we got the highly poseable one, and then we got an um, uh, electronic version, because people were saying they'd love to see a, what an electronic version of the Indoraptor was, and we got that too. So, like, you could do the same thing for these guys, even, like, the T-Rexes, Raptors, and stuff, because then you could have, like, Oh, these ones are like the, um, like the kids toy ones, and then the posable ones. You can make them a little more expensive, or these ones cheaper. Personally, I'd go with the cheap, these guys cheaper. That's just my opinion. I would love to see two versions of each of these toys. One posable, like the Indoraptor, and one that's got the electronics and all that stuff. But that's just me. But we also have a bonus unboxing to do. Da -da 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 -da. The uh, Snap Squad Delta. Now we need to release this cute little bump. And it's got the cute. I love this little guy. Like you can bite your fingers. Oh, and apparently, if you get a giant a box set, then you get things like, oh, you can put it on your back. Who's, who's gonna do that? Who's gonna go to school with this hanging on? But anyway. Let's get this little guy out. I'll free you, Delta. As long as you don't kill me like... It is Delta. Yeah, it is Delta. I thought it was actual first. It does look... The color scheme is like... Echo, though. If you look at, um... Echo and Delta in... Jurassic World. Echo's the one with the blue... Sh sh with the blue, um... Tiger stripes. And, um, the... Gray, the yellowish skin tone, and Delta's basically like blue, except um her, she doesn't have a gray skin tone. It's a bluer skin tone, and she doesn't have a stripe. Safety first, as Jimmy Fallon once said, safety is sexy. And as Jurassic fans, we have to respect that because he was in the driver's. He was our. He welcomed us in the driver's fear. Boom! Oh, he's so cute. Can he actually stand? I want to see. Can he actually stand? Oh my god, he can stand. I didn't even realize. Like, look at the legs. Now, if you were to have this just biting down and, like, move it like this, I'll probably do close-ups over here. This is what we would you would call secondary animation. But, like, it looks... It looks so nice. Even though it's, like, it's... It was three dollars. The detail on the scales and stuff is still nice. Can you? Can it even hold on to the ear? This might. Ah! Oh my god! Ah! Ah! Jeez, that hurts! Ah! Ah! I can't! Ah! 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 Oh god! Oh my god! It left bite marks. But anyway, guys. Anyway, guys. That about wraps up this video. How did you enjoy? Do you? If you have this Carnotaurus Toro. What did you guys think of it? Do you think it deserves its 8 out of 10? Or do you think it's higher, lower, whichever one you want? But if you've enjoyed this video, leave leave a like. And if you want to, if you haven't already and you want to join the hunt with us, not these guys, hit the subscribe button. Be safe. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.